Hey guys, today you should be glazing the outside of your box. Before you glaze, make sure your box has perfect craftsmanship, where your corners are nice and neat and the sides of the box are nice and smooth. When you begin glazing, use that large glaze brush, dip it into the glaze, and then put on the glaze on a horizontal motion. You'll notice that some of the clay will kind of sneak through uh, that first layer and that is okay. I only want you to glaze the outside of the box and the top rim. Leave the inside of the box completely empty and free of glaze because if your box would start to dry out, we need to have access to the clay to where we can put wet paper towels inside the box so the box will start absorbing moisture again so it won't become bone dry. After applying that first coat, always clean off your brush. Do not let the glaze dry on the brush between coats. You have to put three coats of glaze on your box, but between each coat, you have to make sure the glaze is fully dry. You'll know when it's dry when it kind of has a chalky, matte-like appearance. For your second coat, apply the glaze in a vertical motion. This will help fill in any of the horizontal openings that you have on, from that first layer. After you've glazed your second coat, clean off the brush again. Now, between your second to third coat, the glaze is going to take a little bit longer to dry. So, you know, work on something else and come back to it. The glaze will be dry once you have that matte coat again and it doesn't look glossy in any areas. For this third and final coat, you're going to apply the glaze back on to it with a horizontal motion and do this to all four sides. At the very end, go back to all of your corners and make sure that there is no glaze showing on the corners. So you might wanna take a quick little vertical swipe across the corners with some black glaze at the very end just to make sure that everything is nice and solid black. After you finish putting on your three coats, clean off the brush and then bring back any extra glaze to class so we can replenish it to the bottles. And like I just said, before putting it back in the bag, check for those little areas where you don't have glaze Put the glaze back in those areas with like a vertical swipe and then let that glaze dry before it goes back into your bag. You have to put your piece back in the garbage bag today or else it will dry out and be unworkable for the project. So wait for the glaze to dry, then you can put it back in your garbage bag and bring your everything to school tomorrow.